Yeah, we are coming here to Africa now since several years, and we see there's a big demand in Africa. And uh, for example, only this year we have signed several MIO contracts for rural areas where there's still no fiber there. And we are now also promoting these MIO services, specifically O3B, with SAS as our partner. Uh, but O3B is only a complement to our other hybrid solutions. We still do a lot of geo uh, uh, on always, C-band, extended C-band, KU band. So, and uh, what we see is here that the demand is still increasing, even more increasing than the last years, uh, which is also driven, of course, by the uh, excellent price development from our point of view, maybe not from the operator point of view. Uh, but for us, it's an, it's an enabler to uh, entrance into new business area where it was before not possible. Um, again, like everywhere in the world, the challenges are still to bring down the prices further and here specifically on the hardware part. Uh, satellite have already improved over the last years and with the new, let's say, uh, HDS and also bigger satellites uh, which have more capacity on board is a good enabler, but now we have to look also on the ground, on the terminals. Here the modems, the antennas, uh, and in, uh, in particular for the mobile solutions, so the tracking antennas, prices have to go down. Uh, when this can be done by our suppliers and partners, I think then we are well prepared also for this region uh, because then the demand will uh, even increase further. Yeah, first of all, we are well connected in Africa. I think today we are in more than 35 countries with real operations. Uh, we have a good partner network for the service on the ground. Uh, Africa is still not easy. It starts with uh, bringing the hardware in. You have to uh, uh, work with uh, regulations, the licenses, with customs clearance. Then you have the installation. And in many cases, we have a power issue. So uh, you need good partners on the ground. You cannot do everything from Europe or the US. And uh, here you have to be flexible. That means you have to work on the weekend as well. And sometimes, uh, let's say, a mid-sized company is better uh, prepared than these huge companies. Yeah, first uh, I was very impressed this morning. It was very crowded uh, compared to other shows where usually the second day is the, the biggest day. It was very crowded and uh, the good thing here in Africa come is that it's a kind of hub, a capital where we can meet our customers. So our customers coming here really from DRC, Namibia, Nigeria, Eritrea, uh, Equatorial Guinea, Mali, uh, and that's a good meeting point and our schedule is full. Yeah, uh, everybody is really talking about the current projects which we are working on. How is the status? When can we start? Can we do have a quotation? We have a new project. So it's all about uh, doing business and at the end uh, helping our customers that they can help their customers. <laughs>